Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and create a histogram. Uh, we're going to do this in a way that uh, may not be too conventional uh, at this point. Um, usually we could go to a graph and then click on bar chart and then just create a bar chart from there or or do a, di a different way. There's, there's several different ways to, to create histograms really. Uh, for this we're going to use um, this capability option. So we're using this home sales data which has the uh, price of certain homes, the age of the house, the uh, square feet, how big it is. <clears throat> and importantly, or most importantly for this exercise, uh, is the tax information. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is click on the Analyze uh, drop-down menu. Then we go to Capability. Then we have the option here for Histogram. So we'll click this. So we're really only focused on our tax variable. And we want to see, using a histogram, uh, how the data is actually distributed. <clears throat> so, here's our distributions that we can choose from. We have a normal, log normal, exponential, Weibull, beta, gamma, kernel. Uh, for this, we want to see if, uh, if our data is actually normally distributed. So we can click the normal option. And we'll just leave all these things the same. Uh, let's see. If we go to the options tab, we can kind of change the colors of our, our bar chart. So the background lighter blue so for this we're just really trying to focus in on <clears throat> the visual aspects of this so by default we get a, a very useful uh, statistics that will actually help us really determine whether or not our our data follows a normal distribution uh, but for this exercise we're just focusing on the visual aspect of this so what we're going to do is click this it'll suppress the descriptive statistics so it'll only give us the uh, histogram and none of the actual tables of statistics and we just click run and here we go so this is our this is our plot and so this is how we can see how everything is uh, kind of distributed and we have the normal representation here too <clears throat> and you can see we changed our color of the uh, the background to this lighter lighter blue color and the outline of our bar chart this kind of uh, darker blue color so this is one of many ways that we can create a histogram that will help us kind of see how our our data is distributed